If he was scared, he wasn't showing it. He was going to show all of them what he was made of. If nothing else, this would be no easy win for Dennis. Done it! He proved himself a worthy heir to his father's kingdom. of a guard frog wasn't an easy kill, but it was a sweet one. Their leader, Lanzalut, had never been bested in battle. He had a lance as lethal as it was legend, but he also had the only key.
Dog Brothers clan were finally destroyed, Reggie knew they would not be the last.
corpse of Blocky Magoo lay lifeless on the floor. He had croaked his last orders. wasn't just buried. The whole Grand Library was abandoned. in this revered place. More of his father's secrets. But for now, he had found the book. The other mysteries would have to wait. Reggie wished King Rattus were with him, to explain these creatures being here. And, if you were being honest, because he missed his father's reassuring presence. King dead, 
Hopefully the waves of mozzie infestations would slow down. The mozzie queen. Foul mother of the sea. They never stop while she lived. Mother dead, that should be the last of them. For now. were dealt with, and Reggie had felt no rumbling monster. But sighting the war chief had made Reggie realize they needed to prepare for an attack. The king was needed in the fort. The switch that gave electricity must be beyond this room. Mother first. She was the one infesting the mines with her grublings.
her great wings had finally stopped buzzing. She and her young would infest this place no longer. This foe was called Mole Mysterio. Proud. what name the crowd would give him if he returned to the arena again. The fighter they called Macho Mole was a crowd favorite. Many a mole has lost their head to the brutal screen of his axe. in the arena felt good. Maybe Reggie could learn to like this. This strange device was a blaster. Molecraft more deadly than most bows. Reggie wondered what the smith would think. make short work of most enemies. The king could get used to this. Reggie didn't know what this creature was, but its teeth and claws were as sharp as they were fast. Reggie wondered what this feeling it inspired was. Fear? Despair.
It was dead, and Reggie could barely believe he'd survived. He hoped this would be the last one he encountered. He died as he lived, protecting rat folk from the scourge of frog kind. The guard captain had truly earned his place, entombed alongside King. Molberg's shield was thick and heavy, crafted from the strongest plate metal. Getting past it would not be easy. Shields, 
make for slow targets. Slow targets make easy gold. The arena champion, Hulk Mulgan, was a living legend of Moltel. His legend might have to live on without him. They cheered. One legend had died, but another had come to take its place. Double trouble means double goal. Reggie cut the final combatant down, the crowd cheered his victory. Bloodthirsty though it was, he had grown fond of Moletown. Another of these fanged and clawed creatures. But if he could kill one, Reggie reasoned, he could kill two. The rangers were wrong. The creature was real, and nothing about its size was exaggerated. 
Sometimes a tall tale is worth hearing. Too late. Reggie saw from the docks his brother's silhouette on a ship surrounded by tribal frog soldiers. No sign of their foul leader. He had to get to his brother. Reggie had little trust in shamans. There was more mystery in this world than his father had taught him. The shaman had gone, but he'd left a key. The shaman had tried to hide in his workshop. The things he'd made and used on Reggie's kin were here. There was nowhere he could hide. The shaman's cruel experiments were over in a puff of foul green smoke. The war chief's throne room could not be far. He was the one who started this, so it was with a sword in his skull that it must end.
even in the frog slime and its stench of death, it felt good to be fighting with his brother at his side. Catch down. They wouldn't take him. was dead, and the kingdom saved. But what did it matter if his brother was gone? This would be a true challenge, unleashing wave upon wave of foes on Reggie. He hoped he had the iron to go the distance.
Exhausted, Reggie stood over his defeated foes. He had truly earned his status as a legend of Moletown. He wondered if he preferred glory to duty.